In this tip, we're going to talk about setting up the SMS text messages, which are important, important for appointment reminders, um, no-show notices, uh, automated Google reviews, and, and other notices that come from the CRM system. Uh, so it is important if you want to you know, communicate with your customers in many ways. Emails already get sent out from the system, uh, but a lot of people do use text. And so if you're collecting phone numbers from customers, it's a good idea to add that in. So you can send them a text as well as an email. Uh, the text messaging system that we integrate with is called Twilio. And it's really, really cost affordable, uh, cost effective. Sorry. And uh, it's, it's a great system. Very easy to set up. Uh, they do offer a trial balance as well uh, when you sign up with them. And so I'll show you how to integrate that. And this is, like I said, it's important for things like automated Google reviews and so on and so forth. Um, that'll help build up your business quite a bit. So to set this up, we're going to go to our settings. So that's found under admin and then settings and options. And we're going to go down to integrations. So open that tab up and you're going to see Twilio SMS settings over here. So there's three pieces of information that we need. And then there's also this thing called a webhook. The webhook allows you to receive text messages as well. That way, under a client profile, you can actually uh, chat with them. And so what we notice is that sometimes customers were just replying to the text message they were sent. And this way it comes back to us, goes in the system. You'll get an email notice saying there's a new text message. And then you'll be able to reply to that customer through uh, the CRM as well. So to start with, you're going to want to log in. Well, set up if you don't have one, uh, a Twilio account. And then once you do log into your Twilio account and you're going to want to grab your phone number. So to do so, uh, we'll go to the dashboard here. I'll go to the dashboard first. Um, so when you're on the dashboard, uh, you're gonna wanna grab your phone number. So you're gonna click this thing under the home button and then scroll down and you're gonna see phone numbers. So we're gonna click on phone numbers, wait for the page to load, and then you're gonna see your phone number here. So what you're gonna wanna do is basically copy your phone number and we're gonna paste that in here. Now, not sure if it makes a difference or not, but sometimes it's better if you just format the, the phone number without any additional symbols. So it's just numbers. Um, so there we go. We have our phone number in there. Then you're going to want your SID and your token, and those are found on the dashboard. So we'll go and we'll click the home button again. And then from the dashboard, you're going to want to copy your account SID, and you're going to want to copy your auth token as well. So you'll copy both of those, and then you'll paste them inside the system. So you paste it here and paste it here. And then from that point, you're going to want to click save. So then you're going to save that. And that's basically going to save those settings for you. And then the last part to make sure that you're able to receive messages, because at this point you would only be able to send messages. But in case someone sends you a message and you want to receive that as well, you're going to want to copy your webhook link. So you're going to copy that. So copy. And then we're going to go back to Twilio. And we're going to click this little icon again under the home button. We're going to go back and click on phone numbers again. Once you're in this section, click on the link for the phone number. And this one's already configured, but I'll show you where to configure it. So you click on the phone number and then from there, scroll down and you're going to look for the messaging section and configure with, make sure it's set to web hooks. And then from there, a message comes in and that's where you're going to paste that web hook is in there and then set it to HTTP post. And then same thing for if the primary handler fails, set it to the exact same link. So paste it in there and then make sure this is set to HTTP post. Then you're going to want to hit save. And that's basically going to save your settings uh, in Twilio. And then from there, you're now ready to go. So you've set up everything so that you can send messages uh, by text and you can also receive messages by text and like i said it's it's very affordable it's you know it's less than a penny a message or something like that it's it's incredibly cheap um so it's very very affordable uh, to send messages and highly effective for your business as well uh, so we've noticed a huge uptick in our you know replies our bookings our sales everything like that at our auto shop as a result of this now under your toggles and options this is where as well you can set this to automate appointment confirmations, automate no-show follow-ups, send job complete notices, send referral request emails, and disable request feedback requests by default. The feedback requests are Google reviews basically. So making sure that whatever one of these options you want to have 
automated, set those to automated, and with your text message setup, it'll automatically send those messages by text as well as email. Uh, so for example, automate appointment confirmations. So this will send by email and text if you have the text message set up through Twilio.